Today's video is going to be a task to say the least. I'm just gonna chop my hair up like this and not care what it looks like because it is an organizing day. We don't need to look cute for this at all. Um, this is a job that I have been honestly putting off since the day we moved in. It's just one of them things that I find so boring that I just find like anything else to do. I'm sure some of you may feel me on that. I just, it's just not a job I wanna spend my day doing. Do you know what I mean? So I have put this off for way too long now. I need to sort through all of my clothes and decide on like what I wanna keep, what I wanna give to charity and also what I wanna put on my Depop. So that being said, I will put my Depop username on screen. I think it's just Emily Philpot. Um, but I'll leave it linked down below as well in case you're interested in picking out some things Most of the stuff can sometimes be like unworn because obviously I buy a lot of things for hauls And then I might not get around to wearing them So a lot of the things are literally brand new and they'll just be a lot cheaper on there But yeah, I will swing you guys around in a second and show you basically what we're dealing with It's a lot I'll warn you now, like it is a lot. I have my walk-in wardrobes over there. If you guys have seen the moving vlogs, then you may have seen them. Um, I just want to fill them up today, like get all of my stables in there. Obviously, it's now September, so I'm thinking I'm going to get out a load of my autumn winter stuff and put a load of my summer bits away just into storage until next year because I'm feeling like summer is well and truly over. It is definitely cloudy and rainy and cold today, so I thought I'd just get all cosy got my coffee and i'm gonna crack on with this it's like the perfect day to do it i've never filmed one of these videos before so please bear with me because i'm not entirely sure how i'm gonna film it i just don't know how i can make this interesting for you guys but a lot of people have asked for it i did put it on my instagram and ask if you guys wanted me to film me doing this and you said yes so that is what i'm doing but yeah i'm just gonna try and make it interesting in some way right now i'm gonna start by showing you just what we're dealing with i'll spin the camera around and i still need to unpack for my holiday and everything like that's how bad this is but then obviously i just have all the boxes to go through which everything is like somewhat organized everything's folded but it just needs to go away somewhere and have a home so yeah let me just show you that and then we can get on with it okay we're all friends here please don't judge me i'm sure some of your rooms have looked like this at some point even if they don't now and you're organized that is not me today but it will be at the end of this video so this um is what we're dealing with this is all my clothes there is a pile of clothes through there i always do this really stupid thing where i like make piles of clothes around the room and i am definitely afraid of spiders so now my job is to go through this and hope that there is no spiders living in it and i mean i'm pretty sure that pile keeping it real has been there before we went on holiday so no doubt there's going to be at least one in there so that's terrifying me right now but yeah this is mainly what we need to sort out today so in all of these boxes is just like all of my clothes that i bought over so i know for a fact already there's loads of pieces in here that i don't wear or want to sell so i'm going to pull everything out and then put them in piles on the floor just of like charity selling things that i want to then put back in my wardrobe because there's a lot of autumn winter stuff in here and then i can already see like some little tops in there that need to go away because they're my summer stuff so yeah that is what we're going to start with and then this is my walk-in wardrobe so in case you haven't seen the moving vlogs we do have all of these wardrobe space which is so nice they do just have like hanging space at the moment which is obviously perfect for brad as you can see he's literally hung everything up and I've got a few dresses and stuff in here, but I mainly like to just kind of fold my clothes and put them in drawers. So I'm thinking in this one, I'm going to get a little Ikea drawer to put at the bottom here. Just because they are definitely big enough for me to do that and like have drawer space. So I'm going to take these out as well. They're just some like random dresses. I think I also want to get rid of a couple of them because I just don't wear them. But at some point I am definitely going to pick up a drawer for this. And it will just make it ten times easier. And then obviously I can kind of hang things up there as well if I want to. This side I think is where I have a few things already. Yeah so I've got like some jumpers up here. Again I need to go through them. And then we've got coats and stuff down there and then on this side i think it's just some more mess really this is really brad's side actually so he's got all his stuff up there and then we've got suitcases and literally so much junk down here so there is a lot to do so i am going to start this off by just going through the boxes and organizing my clothes and then i think we're going to have to move on to organizing the wardrobe so i can like actually put things away and it has some organization to it so i guess i'm going to put you guys on a few time lapses while i sort the clothes out like i said before a lot of things are going to be put on my depop so definitely go and check that out if you're interested but let's cut to the time lapses and i'm going to get cracking
this is where we're at so far i've cleared i think around three boxes by now and i have just gone downstairs to try and grab some bin bags because this is all to sell stuff but i've actually set up all of my depop stuff over at my mum's house so i need to transport it over there somehow but i think i'm gonna have to put it back in these little boxes just to be able to get it there so this is all going to be going on my depop i've got a charity pile in that box over there and then this is all stuff that needs to go in the wardrobe that is basically what i'm doing like i say probably not the most interesting but i am just going to keep going on with this i think i'm going to next check in with you guys when i get around to putting everything in the wardrobe so i'll time lapse that i've already decided that for now i'm gonna reuse the boxes again and i think in this side of the wardrobe i'm actually just going to put the boxes at the bottom so i'm going to move all of this stuff up to the rails up here and anything else that i find to hang and then i'm going to put the boxes at the bottom just so they're like behind a door i don't know why i just feel like when things are tucked away like that it's a lot better yeah i feel like i've made more of a mess but sometimes you've got to make more of a mess for it to get better that's what i'm telling myself anyway but i'm going to continue with clearing these boxes and like i say i'll check in with you guys later right so we have three more boxes to go in the bedroom i'm slowly getting through this it's looking much clearer in this corner which is making me so happy but i have kind of like shoved everything out in the hallway i always do this if i'm tidying up a room it ends up affecting all the other rooms in the house and they slowly become a mess so that is what's happening out here although to be fair this is all completely organized stuff so these are bits that i'm going to take over to my mum's to sort out to put on depop so all of the stuff in here there's a couple of sneak peeks but this will all be up for sale very very soon there is loads of like sweaters and joggers and stuff like that so perfect for this time of year there's about five six boxes of this stuff i do have another one in the bedroom so there is a lot to be sold but that is what i've got so far in terms of that and then this is a pile of stuff that i'm going to be keeping so i'm going to hang this all up in the wardrobe now and just get it off the floor so it looks a little bit clearer and then we just have these three boxes to go through like i say also i completely forgot that i had these three little boxes so these are what i'm actually going to put at the bottom of the wardrobe i've used most of the other ones for the clothes for sale so luckily i have these i'm just gonna put like jumpers and stuff in here i think and then like i said in the wardrobe i'm gonna hang things above it but these all work perfectly girl i see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there Cause everything reminds me of you i can't take no more girl i think i'm losing my mind try to go to work but i lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you i can't take no more i miss your touch from your hands and your body Think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me apologies for the angle but i thought i would just show you these quickly before i put them in the wardrobe so in this one i have all of my gym stuff i swear i have more than this but i literally don't know where it's gone so if i find more i will just add it to this one i'm gonna pop that at the bottom and then in this one we have joggers again i have so many more than these i think a load of things are in the wash right now so i will of course just add to these so that one can go next to there and then finally we have jeans in this one again i have more i just think this is going to be so much easier to kind of like see exactly what i've got and just be able to pick it out when i need it it also looks a lot neater in there so perfect that is the start of this wardrobe i don't feel like it's anywhere near done because obviously i've still got loads of clothes to put in here these are actually a lot lower than i thought they would be as well so i can probably still hang a load of stuff only issue is i've run out of hangers this is all i have left so i need to order some i actually just got these from amazon they're so good if you type in like suede or like velvet hangers i think they are they're one of the first options that comes up and none of them break on me so i really like them but that is it for in here for now i just thought i'd make a start on like actually putting things away because it's made me feel a little bit better it's made me feel like i've made some progress because that room is just an absolute tip so i'm gonna get back to that and i will check in with you guys again when i've made a bit more progress as i'm sure you can tell it is now the next day we have basically run into a little bit of an issue um my hangers haven't arrived i thought they were going to arrive today and i was going to just continue like sorting everything out getting my stuff together but they aren't arriving till tomorrow so i thought i would take this opportunity to just sit down and talk to you about a product very quickly that i have been loving recently so i have mentioned hair burst in a few videos very recently i've said that i've been testing out their products and seeing how they kind of fare with me and if i like them or not i did give you a few spoiler alerts and say that i was absolutely loving them so expect to hear about them soon and this is me now telling you about them properly so i have been testing out two products from them so we have this which is their volume and growth hair elixir and then also i've been trying out 
out their Lash and Brow Enhancing Serum. This is a brand new one, so this is how it kind of comes packaged, but this is the one that I've been using at the moment. So of course it is just out of its packaging. I have been testing this out for honestly, I want to say a couple of months now, and I've noticed so many differences it's kind of insane i've always been a little bit skeptical of products like this but i've genuinely been so impressed by both of these items i'm just going to quickly run over the volume and growth hair elixir first so this is basically meant to help your hair with like volume and growth as it says but it also prevents hair loss which is what i did mention in a previous video because i didn't know that to start with and i subconsciously noticed a difference of like i explained it as in when you're in the shower and you kind of put your conditioner in you know when you run your hands through your hair and then you look at your hand and there's like a crap ton of hair in it that was not happening as much and the only thing i changed in my routine was adding this so that's the only thing i can put it down to but the places that i find i'm most fair in my hair is like at the front here both sides to be fair so i generally tend to focus this just on those areas so once i get out of the shower and my hair is like a little bit damp still i'll literally just spray this in and then comb it through my hair then onto the lash and brow serum so this is something that i've been using every single day morning and night i apply this both to my eyelashes and my eyebrows Again, my brows is something I've been struggling with at the moment. I tend to have like really sparse areas at the top here and this has definitely been helping to kind of thicken them out a bit. You definitely need to just bear with it. I feel like a lot of people kind of test these products out for a couple of weeks and just don't see a difference and then just feel like it doesn't work. But you definitely need to use these over quite a long period of time to then be able to notice the difference. I'm just going to show you how I apply this. Obviously, it's really simple. You just kind of comb it through your brows. So I literally just dip it in once and then you can just use the spoolie and comb it through your eyebrows. Then I'll just dip it in again quickly and do the same thing to my eyelashes. It's literally like applying mascara, but obviously it's a completely clear gel. It doesn't feel heavy or anything. It's a very, very light serum, so you can't kind of like feel it on there. I have tried some of the past where they almost tend to like clump and it feels really uncomfortable on your eyes, whereas this one literally doesn't do that. So that is it. I literally just do that every single morning and every single evening and yeah. I have noticed the biggest difference, mainly in the length of my lashes. I wouldn't say that I've noticed too much like volume change, I wanna say. I don't feel like my lashes are much thicker, but I think with them becoming a bit longer, it makes it look that way anyway. So yeah, they are the couple of products that I've tested out. Hairburst do actually have a load of different products as well. So they have some shampoos and conditioner. They also help in this same kind of range with volume and growth. And then they have some hair gummies too, which I've heard really good things about. I just personally have other vitamins that I take. So I just wanted to add these into my routine and I'm really happy I have I'm glad I tested them out especially over so long like I say you definitely just need to give it a little bit of time and you will start to notice results but that is a little bit about hair burst I will leave everything linked down below in the description like I said I thought I would just throw this in here while I wait for my hangers basically but that being said I do still have a few boxes to go through so I'm gonna finish off going through those add a few more things to my wardrobe I've also got a pile of clean washing that can now go in and then I'm going to sit on Ikea and order some chest of drawers because I need to do that for the wardrobe. That's just, again, something else I've been putting off. So I'm going to get it done today. And then once they arrive, I can properly organize the whole thing, which I'm really excited for. Right, so I've actually just come down to my office quickly because I completely forgot that I have this rail with yet more clothes on it which is kind of ridiculous but i need to just go through them and decide what i want to keep and what i want to kind of sell on or give to charity so i bought two of the boxes down because i feel like there's going to be quite a few things here that i am not going to keep so i'm just going to package them up again to take them over to mum's it's actually quite good though because it means it will free up some hangers so i can take them back upstairs and get a few more things hung up in the wardrobe so i'm going to crack on with this set you guys up on a time lapse and i will check in a little bit later Right, 
don't mind me getting completely sidetracked again but as you can tell from behind me everything is now gone so this like double rail thing which by the way i've had so many questions on and it used to be my mum's and i can't remember where she got it from i will try and ask her and find a link if not to something very similar but they are super handy it has like two rails to it so you can fit so much more on but i'm really happy that's now clear so i've managed to get two more boxes of stuff to sell and then the stuff that's over there is what I'm keeping. I'm gonna take that upstairs in a sec and we can put that away. I do also have some clothes to go through here, but we'll get onto that. I just had a knock at the door though and these have arrived, which are my new slippers. Now, this is gonna sound really odd. Like if you don't believe in manifestation or anything along those lines, then you're gonna think I'm literally crazy. But ever since the day Brad and I viewed this house, so when we first came around, we kind of like pictured on the first viewing like which room would be what. So I knew from the start that this was gonna be my office room. And ever since that day, I had this weird picture of me coming down in the morning like from upstairs from our bedroom, putting my slippers on and coming to sit at my desk in this room and working and then like going downstairs. And I just kept thinking of like me doing exactly that. But the slippers that I was wearing were very specific and they were these ones from UGG, which I've been trying to get my hands on for ages. And I just feel like I wanted to make that visualization come to life and be a real thing. So I finally managed to get my hands on these because they've been out of stock for the longest time. I'm sure you guys have seen them before and I feel like they're a bit of a love hate thing. I'm sure a lot of people will Think these are disgusting but i literally think they're the cutest things in the world also they are so comfy like i used to have the kind of like mule ones which are really comfortable but i've had them for years now and i just feel like they're a bit worn in and like i say these are exactly what i visualized myself wearing in this house no idea why but i just think they're adorable i love the color as well i was torn between getting like a really cute lilac color because they do have more pastels of these which are adorable but i just know that i'm gonna love the gray for longer so yeah really happy with these they literally just arrived which is why i've been completely sidetracked but if you are interested shoe seem to have them in stock in quite a few sizes so i'll leave them linked down below if you've been looking for them too but i will try these out later i am now gonna go and take the stuff upstairs take you guys with me of course and we can put that away we are getting there i feel like this hasn't been as bad as i thought it would be although saying that i am very glad that it's nearly over okay so now we have some things here that are already on a hanger i do want to just reorganize a couple of these things because there's like a dress with a cardigan so i'm just going to split them out put them all in individual hangers so i can see what i have and then they can go straight in the wardrobe then we have a load of clothes that need to go on a hanger we have all of the hangers here this is how many i managed to save which is good I did actually end up ordering like 200 hangers, so I think I'm going to be good for the rest of the time. Actually, that's a lie. I think it was 100. I think I got two boxes of 50, so I'm sure that will do me. And then I've just got a couple of random bits here. So some jeans that can go in the box and then also some like joggers and stuff like that. So I'm going to put all of this away. Again, put you guys on some time lapses so you can see. And then I feel like we're near enough there, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> also, I've tried the slippers on. This is what they look like. I'm literally obsessed. Although I think that this one is like a display one only because it feels worn. I know that sounds silly, but the fur on it has gone kind of like a little bit more coarse already. Like this one feels brand new and it's super soft, whereas this feels a little bit more course so i'm feeling like that one is like a shop tester which i'm not too happy about because i did order them online so i might just email them and just see if that's the case because i kind of want brand new shoes do you know what i mean especially if it does kind of change the texture of them because these aren't cheap and i just feel like they're a little bit worn i don't know we'll see update for you guys as you would have just seen i've popped all of the stuff away in here so we've got jeans joggers and little shorts and just like cozy things that i like to throw on and then my gym wear like i mentioned before because these boxes are a lot smaller than i thought they were i will also leave these linked down below because i feel like i'm gonna get questions on them but like i said because they're a lot smaller i have a lot more room than i thought i would so i've managed to hang just some like little cardigan tops or just anything really that's a bit shorter in length 
so it all fits in here really nicely and it just gives me a little bit more space so I'm gonna probably do that all the way along and then at the top here you guys have obviously already seen this so we've got a load of jumpers and hoodies and stuff on this side I'm just getting out everything that I'm gonna be wearing over this time of year there's not too many summer bits I have quite a few dresses but I've tried to keep out the ones that I would probably wear on like a night out or something so that is what I've got hanging on this side and then I am just gonna sit down right now and try and find a Ikea drawer for here I just need to run and find the tape measure because I just want to measure it to double check it will actually fit it. otherwise there'll be literally no point in ordering it <laughs> so I just run downstairs and I can't seem to find the tape measure anywhere I can't remember the last time we used it so god knows where that's gone but I'm going to attempt to use this which is the measure app on your phone not entirely sure how accurate it's going to be but I'm going to use this as kind of like a guide point but before I actually order anything I will find the tape measure and measure it properly but yeah I'm going to give this a go to start with and see how we get on I really don't have high hopes if I'm being completely honest I've just done that a few times and a couple of the measurements came out the tiniest bit different so I'm going to assume that the long bit is a meter just because this one came out as 1.04 if that focuses so that says 1.04 and then it came out as 1.06 so that's literally like not even a centimeter in it so i'm gonna go with that being a meter and then i measured the depth of it and that came out as 67 centimeters but then when i measured the depth of it and then measured the length of it again the length came out as 86 centimeters so i literally don't know what it is i'm gonna go off a meter and 60 centimeters see what i can find to see if they're actually gonna fit anyway and then like i say before i click order i will probably measure it so in terms of chest of drawers i have got the windows open so apologies if you hear any traffic but it's really warm in here now i was just thinking of getting something like this like just a three drawer type thing so even if i need to i can take the bottom bar out just for the sake of having like drawer space i just personally like i've said a million times in this video i like to fold things and put them away overhanging them so i am thinking if I get something like that then I can take the bottom bar out and still have the top bar to hang stuff but the only thing is even one of their smallest ones is coming out with a depth of 72 so I'm hoping that that measuring app is off and this might be able to fit in there I am gonna have a little look around because I'm sure they probably do ones that are a little bit thinner or I might even be able to get like a couple more drawers in there obviously something like this would be way too high so I'm thinking either that one or I swear I've seen one with four drawers on it or I might just be imagining things obviously Ikea have so many different options so I'm gonna sit here now and just go through everything and see what I can find see is that one 50 centimeters deep because that might be a lot better I'm gonna have a look but I also completely forgot that I have this little package from Elena's home which I haven't showed you guys yet so we do have a couple of different things in here but the main thing I wanted to show you is these really gorgeous drawer handles so although I want to get like a really kind of plain little Ikea drawer set I want to find a way that I can attach these onto the drawers so I'm thinking even if you got a set like this they have a little lip on the top where you can obviously open them but I really love the look of handles so I'm hoping that there's some way I can kind of slot this onto the drawer and then you literally just screw them in the back and then that could be the little pulley I don't know I just think they're so nice so I have got quite a few of these I think I've got six so obviously if I got two sets of three drawers then that would literally be perfect but yeah these are from Elena's home I'll leave them linked down below the lady that owns it is so sweet and it's just a really nice little home boutique that I found on Instagram she did very kindly send these over to me so a huge shout out to her but the vase that you guys would have seen in my moving vlogs the one that's in my office that was one of the first things that I purchased from her and I do also have the bamboo footstool in there that is again from Elena's home so like I say I'll leave that link down below but they're the handles that I want to somehow incorporate into the drawers that I get I feel like I'm gonna to have to consider that as well when I'm picking them just to be able to find some that these can actually latch onto but then the other little thing that is in this package is some coasters these are literally adorable I actually bought some marble ones the other day and I'm thinking these kind of like mix match with them would look so nice I'm just really obsessed with this kind of brush gold detail at the moment I'd love to have this colour in our kitchen. Again, if you guys are following the moving vlogs, you'll know that we are going for like a really dark navy blue, like almost black. And I think this colour tied in with that is so nice like just this is all the accents so we'll see but yeah these are just a couple of bits that i've completely forgotten to show you guys but right now i'm gonna sit and look at drawers probably for the next hour and see what i can find really i'm hoping we can find something that will fit in there but obviously right now i need to measure it properly to actually get a good idea just really quickly jumping on the end here to first of all say that my hangers have finally arrived so i need to put everything that is kind of left to go in the wardrobe in there now i have these like i mentioned earlier on in the video i literally just get them from amazon but today i have a whole day of sorting depop so all of the stuff that i think you can kind of see out there there's about 
eight boxes I want to say of stuff that I need to sort out and get off for sale so I have a full day of taking all of that over to my mum and dad's and getting it all up for sale for you guys so that is what I'm doing I just remembered that I needed to end off this video because I want to also set this live so you guys can see it but I'm sure in upcoming moving vlogs I will update you on the wardrobes if anything changes obviously I still need to get the chest of drawers and stuff there's still quite a lot to do but I hope this was like an interesting video to start with I don't know you guys can let me know down below in the comments and maybe we can do some more little organization videos in the future but yeah thank you so much for watching if you're new here and you've enjoyed this video then please feel free to hit subscribe down below if you want to stick around but otherwise i will speak to you all very soon in my next one bye guys Woo!